Hi, my name is Gustav, welcome to the MyForesta channel. In this video I want to share with you an interesting exercise made by Gustavo De Vese, a great animator and an old friend of the project. A few days ago, Gustavo shared with us this wonderful animation of fire. This illusion is formed by a loop of 60 frames, using a speed of only 8 frames per second, and as you already noticed, it is very fluid. Now, the amazing thing about this project is that it's not what it looks like. At first sight, I thought it was made by creating the flame of the wood fire, frame by frame following different shapes, as usually some animators do it. No big deal, I guessed. Then, when I opened the tube file, I discovered how wrong I was. This is the trick behind this great animation. Gustavo set the static background as black. Then he used five layers to create the illusion. I'm going to explain the role of every layer from bottom to top to make it easier to understand. At the first layer, he drew a static yellow flame and he made it available for all the frames of that layer. At the second layer, he grouped a set of brown circles around the yellow flame. Then he added a rotation twin to that group. Take a look to the effect. At the third layer, he added a big black circle with the border full of irregular shapes most of them small circles, and then he grouped them. Now, pay attention about how the position of the big circle covers just the top left border of the flame, cause this is the key of the trick. The big circle has a rotation twin too, so if we play the animation again, take a look to the magic. Ta-da! Now, Guess what is hiding in the fourth layer? Exactly the same shape, with the same rotation twin, but in the other side of the flame. So let's take a look to the preview once again. Finally, in the fifth layer, he drew a group of woods to cover the base of the fire, to make it more realistic. And that's it! The flame of the wood fire becomes alive. This is the kind of trick that an old wizard like Gustavo keeps in his pocket. And I must say that exercise like this one inspires me to keep developing Tubitoof, because it proves, after all, that animation is the art of illusion, and in some way, as developer, it makes me a wizard too. In the description of this video I will leave the link of the Tube source file of this example in case you want to play with it. I hope you liked this video, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and see you in the next one!